String number two, Rich Collins. He and his partner, Paul Alcanada, down by three. After the opening string, whoops. <laughs> well, he opens for the strike. Slow strike. Bob Kelly looking at for a spare. Bob is married, has eight grandchildren. He works as a design engineer. We're talking before the show, Bob has been bowling competitively since 1956. He says despite that, he still gets that little twinge of nervousness every time he bowls. So if you think that these guys get used to being under the lights every week, it's not true. Although he didn't seem too nervous last week. He four in the first five. That's Rich Collins on a strike. He's got five so far. So the challengers are back in the lead, at least by two. And so the lead is four for Rich Collins and Paul Alcanada after 11. Now that piece of wood in the foreground there could be a bit of a problem. Bob was sitting pretty with just the one piece of wood, but then the second piece of wood is the one that he'll have to try to get around a little bit. Rich takes an A25 after a couple. And Bob takes 10 now. 20 after two. So the lead is two for the challengers. <laughs> and bound to grow. Two strikes in three boxes. For Rich Collins. Bob Kelly's had some great first balls. The problem is getting some decent leaves here. Got a little bit of a break the way that wood turned on him now, so he might have an angle to slide both of them down. And he's got it. Nice shot. And a spare in the third. Champs needed that to stay even here. Rich on the strike. Adds five so far. And Bob Kelly on the spare adds seven. One more, so only six, and the lead is down to one pin. Seven box. So now it's at least even and stays even. With six to go, we're in a dead heat.
Well, the champs are looking at a spare. Bob Kelly, spare in the fifth. And Rich Collins takes a nine. So despite the two strikes that Rich Collins came up with, the challengers lose ground here. Or will as soon as Ed Arsenal fills out that spare. Paul Alcanada now for the challengers. Box for Paul, 65 through 6. Ed with 9 and 72 through 6. So a 10 pin lead for our defending champions, Ed Arsenault and Bob Kelly. Spread Eagle. Get the 710 split, but we've also a log jam down there in front. Anything can happen. <laughs> Paul with another eight box. Add one more pin to the lead. 11 now with three to go. Paul needs a mark. And he's in decent shape, although he's got a roadblock down there on his way to the 10 pin. No roadblocks for Red Arsenal, though. Strike in the eighth. Paul takes his spare, lead a couple more. And he'll have to hope that Ed just doesn't open it up here. Paul Alcanada working on the spare. All right, has another shot at one. Strike. Been hit for Ed Arsenal. So there's an opening there. Nope. Left it wide. And an eight for Ed Arsenal. Another eight. Oh, here's the story. An eight pin lead with one box to go. So Paul needs Mark and he has to hope that Ed can't come up with one. 
a shot if he goes wide with the wood here. Went too wide. So, Head Arsenault and Bob Kelly will be back for another week. Came down to the final box. And it wouldn't have mattered anyway. The head came up with a spare. Ball takes a 10. And takes seat with a 112. with seven on the spare and a 124 <laughs> so at Arsenal and Bob Kelly will be making a return trip uh, for the second straight week we'll take a look at the totals for our now two-time defending champs at Arsenal and Bob Kelly a 122 to open a 124 to close for a 246 total and for our challengers, Rich Collins, Brockton, and Paul Alcanada of Weymouth, a 119 to open, a 112, and a concluding strength for a 231. So it's a 15 pin win. We'll be back with all of our bowlers right after this. All right, we'll say goodbye to Rich Collins and uh, Paul Alcanada. Now, do you remember this space from back in the early 60s in Williams? <laughs> you going to be back uh, before 20 years this time? We'll be back hopefully next year. Okay, how'd you like it the first time? Very nice, very good. Okay, Paul, we'll see you again. And Ed Arsenault and Bob Kelly didn't quite have the high numbers of a week ago, but I'll take it, huh? We squeezed by. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, uh, you know, all that counts is if you can win. All right, enough they, to... They, but they did ball good, but... We had a few better breaks. All right, enough to get you back next week, anyway. I hope so. We'll okay. get back next week. All right, Ed Arsenal and Bob Play next week. We'll be taking on Jim Barbera of Cambridge and Dave Al Allen of Arlington. For everyone here at Fairway Sports World and Eddie, have a good afternoon now.